between right and wrong. In your heart we all must choose life or death, win or lose. God is standing at your door, reaching out to you once more. Soon this battle will be your, and after this, it's hallelujah. Hold to God and don't let go, there is victory for you. He'll give you peace and joy and hope. All of this and heaven too. Oh sinner, please now don't you see just how much the Lord loves you. Lay your burdens at His feet. And after this, it's hallelujah. When alone at night you cry And your tears you try to hide But God alone can satisfy That's his God. Right. Okay. No, sorry. Troubles are on every hand And we cannot understand we search so long for peace of mind. Happiness is hard to find. When alone at night you cry, and your tears you try to hide, but God alone can satisfy. And after this, it's hallelujah. Hope to God and don't let go. There's victory for you. He'll give you peace and joy and hope. All of this and heaven too. Oh sinner, please now don't you see just how much the Lord loves you. Lay your burdens at his feet. And after this, it's hallelujah. More than fame, wealth, or desire, more than all this world's attire, more than anything in my life, I've got to make it. Take my possessions, great or small, friends or family, you can take them all, more than anything. In my life I've got to make it More than anything In my life I've got to make it I've got to know my name's inscribed In the Lamb's great book of life I want to hear him say Well done Enter in, my child, you want more than anything in my life I've got to make it. What with all I've come to know, I'll gain this world to lose my soul more than anything in my life I've got to make it. If I can run and keep the pace, then I'll see his blessed face more than anything in my life I've got to make it. More than anything in my life I've got to make it. I've got to know my name's inscribed 
in the Lamb's great book of life. I want to hear him say, well done, enter in, my child, you've won more than anything in my life. I've got to make it. I want to hear him say, well done, and enter yes. in. Yes. If you have a Bible and want to turn with me to the book of Acts chapter 27, amen, Acts chapter 27 uh, for just a few minutes, amen, I will say this is, amen, make sure I've got this thing on here, amen, I was uh, at the Assembly of God this morning in Daint and uh, sitting back in the, the, pool, uh, the pew waiting for the opportunity for him to call for me to come preach and Felt like that God dropped this into my heart for here tonight. Amen. So I'm going to do my very best to be obedient to what I feel like that God Amen. would have us to preach. Yeah. Amen. Uh, I, I know as an evangelist, a lot of times you, uh, you know, have a lot of different thoughts, a lot of different ideas, and I always struggle with uh, wanting to bring the right message for the right time. Yeah. Amen. But I do believe that, amen, if I ever heard him speak, I heard him speak this to my heart. Amen, uh, at the Dane Assembly of God this morning. So I'm going to read about four or five verses here, and then we're going to pray. Amen, and see what God would have for us tonight. Amen. Acts 27. Amen. Verse 27. And the Bible said, But when the fourteenth night was come, as we were driven up and down in Adria about midnight, the shipmen deemed that they drew near to some country and sounded and found it twenty fathoms, and when they had gone a little further, they sounded again, and found it fifteen fathoms. Then fearing lest we shall have fallen upon rocks, they cast out four anchors out of the stern and wished for the day. And as the shipmen were about to flee out of the ship, when they had let down the boat into the sea under the color as though they would have cast anchors out of the foreship, Paul said unto the centurion and to the soldiers, Except these abide in the ship, ye cannot be saved. Then the soldiers cut off the ropes of the boat and let her fall off. Heavenly Father, most righteous God, Lord, as we come once again tonight, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I, of that name that's above every name, God, I thank you. I, I Lord, for another opportunity to be back in the house of God one more time. I, and, Lord, I realize tonight without you, I, I, Lord, I can't do anything. I, I, but, Lord, I pray would you reach down I, I, and anoint me your servant I, I, with the Holy Ghost and with power. I, and, Lord, I pray as David said, I, I let the words of my mouth, I, I, the meditation of my heart, I, I be acceptable in thy sight. I, I, oh, my Lord, my strength, I, and my Redeemer, I, and what will not fail to give you the praise, I, I honor and glory, I, I, for it's in the name of Jesus, I, I pray the name, I, I, amen and amen. Praise the Lord. I, I, the thought that the Lord put on my heart tonight, I, amen, is no plan B. I, I, amen, no plan B. I, and as I was sitting there at the church this morning, I, and I thought about, amen, it really didn't make sense in the natural how to cut that lifeboat, I, I, amen, away from the ship. That was their plan B. I, I mean, if they got in trouble, if they got in a situation I, and they needed to abandon ship, 
Amen. That was the go-to. Amen. But do you realize sometimes in our spiritual walk with God, there are some things that we cling to. I kind of to fall back on just in case. Amen. Things don't go the way that we'd like for them to. But amen. I'm reminded of what the Bible said. Out there in Hebrews 11. Amen. That without faith it's impossible to please him and he that come to God. I, I must believe that he is. I, I, brother, when we start out on this journey, I, I, you can't hold on to the world I, and hold on to him too. I, I, you can't have a plan B. I, I, but any man from the time that my kids I, I were big enough to walk on their own, many of them, I, I, amen, like to have a security blanket. I, I, but I'm glad, amen, now that I'm saved, I, I, he's all that I need. I, I like Brother Mike sings that song sometimes. I, I, he's my all in all. Thank God. I, I know the world is trying to figure out I, I, because we are in a bumpy time. I, I, what are we going to do now? I, and what if I, I, this happens? I, and what if that happens? I, I, but friend, I want you to know tonight, I, I, amen, we got to cut it all off. I, I, we got to get our focus back upon the line. I, I, him and him alone has the answer tonight. I, I, the Bible said, and I quote it often, I, I, Acts 4 and 12, neither I, I, is there salvation in any other. I, I, for there's none other name under heaven I've given among men whereby we must be saved. I, I, but there's so many today I, I, that are ending up going back out into that world. They're trying to abandon ship. I, I, but friend, I believe we better stick with the boat. I, I, we better abide in the ship I, I, because without him, I, I will never make it on our own. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I, but that's why the Bible tells us in John 15. I, I, amen. I, I, that some things need to be purged. I, I, amen. I, I, every branch in me that bringeth forth fruit, he purgeth it. I, I, so that it might bring forth more fruit. I, and brother, when you get to that place that you can, I, I push everything else aside I, and focus more on the Lord. It'll bring some growth up out of you. I, I, the Bible even said in Matthew 6 and 33, I seek you first I, I, the kingdom of God I, I, in his righteousness I, and all these other things will be added I, I believe that what are some things I, I, that we kind of cling to that are not good for us I, I, amen that hold us back I, I, we're one of them that the Lord dealt with me about this morning I, I, amen he said you I, I cling a lot of times to the things that are behind you I, I, amen I, I believe let the past influence us. I, I, amen. But I've come to tell you, Paul said, I, I, this one thing I do, I, I'm going to forget those things that are behind, I, and I'm going to reach for those things that are before, I, and I'm going to press to the mark I, I, for the prize of the hot calling of God I, I, in Christ Jesus. I, I, but you can't let, amen, your past, I, I, that condemnation of yesterday, I, I cause you to hang on to it, I, and say, well, if this don't work out, I, I'll go back. We ain't got nothing to go back to. I, I, like in John chapter 6, I, I, whenever Jesus said that was telling them I, about the communion service, I, and he said, except you eat my flesh I, and drink my blood, you ain't got no life in you. I, I speaking of the communion and some didn't understand. I, and they turned and walked no longer with him. I, I, they asked Peter, I, I, will you also go away? And he said, Lord, to whom can we go? I, I, for only thou hast the words of eternal life. I, I, brother, there's nothing behind us. I, I, that's worth turning by giving it a second look. I, I, brother, we got more in front of us I, I, than we've ever had behind us. I, and we better cut it off. I, I, amen. That is not our plan B. I, I, amen. When you've got God in your ship I, and God in your life, I, I, you don't need a plan B tonight. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. But sometimes I see that. I, I, amen. Folks, they come in. I, and things, amen, begin to get a little rocky. I, I, amen. That reminds me, Peter, there in the last chapter I, of the book of St. John. I, I, amen. The resurrection has happened. I, I, but I'm sure he's wondering, where, where do I go now? I, I, what do I do now from here on now? I, and he said, behold, I go a few shine. I, I, amen. Went out that night, told all night and took nothing. I, I, brother, listen, when we let what's behind us, I, I influence us. I, I, it'll hinder us. I, and the Bible said that we got to lay aside every way. I, I am the sin that does so easily beset us. I, and run with patience. I, I, the race that is set before us. I, I mean, there are people out there I meet on a daily basis. I, I, amen. Say, preacher, you don't know where I've been. I, I, amen. I may not know where you've been, I, I, but I know God's grace is sufficient. I, and the Bible said, I, I for sin abounded. I, I grace did much more abound. I, I'm glad that the hand of God I, I can reach way down below the bottom. I, into that horrible pit. I, I, he pulled you up out of that muck and mire. I, I set your feet on a solid rock. I, I, amen. It's time. I, I believe that we as the church. I, I, amen. Get the past behind us. I, and we cut it off. I, and we let it fall down into the sea of forgetfulness. Amen. 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 We tell folks, come to Jesus. I, I, amen. He can help you. I, and then when they do, sometimes we remind them of what they used to be I, or where they've come from. I, I, when the Bible said, if any man be in Christ, I, I, he's a new creature. I, I, amen. So that before, I, I, time is a big hindrance to a lot of folks. I, I, amen. They're trying to go forward, but they're feeling that pull to, I, I, to go back. I, and I thought it was ironic. I, uh, after all that God had done for them and each other. I, I, amen. That every time they got in a heart spot, I, I some of them would get kind of in a, I, a little bit of a tiff I, and say, well, let's just go back to each other. I, I, friend, I, I'm going to say it again. I, I, amen. All that's behind us I, is pain and misery. I, I, amen. It's time I, I, that we put the hammer down and I, I press ahead. I, I, amen. For the Bible said, I, now is our salvation. I, I'm nearer than when we believe. I, I, amen. I see a lot of folks run into that light boat. I, I trying to abandon ship. I, I, amen. And go back to the past. I, I, but once you've tasted Jesus, I, I, you'll never be satisfied out there in the world again. I, I, amen. You'll never find I, I, anything that's lasting. I, I, but I'm glad if you got Jesus in your life. I, I, he said in Romans 8, in verse 28, for we know that all things have worked together for good out of them that love God and who have been called according to his purpose. Amen. That's why Paul said you've got to take every thought captive. Ha! And you've got to bring it under subjection. Ha! Ha! Because sometimes when the storms of life begin to rage. Ha! Ha! Amen. Sometimes even in the quietness of the night. Ha! Ha! That devil will try to remind you of your past. Ha! Ha! But I love there was a guy many years ago. Ha! Ha! Who was a famous Christian singer. Ha! And he used to say when the devil reminds you of your past. Ha! Ha! You just remind him of his future. Ha! I, because he ain't got one, amen. I, I, that's going to really amount to anything. I, I, but I'm glad, friend, there was a day coming in my life I, I, that I realized I, I can't keep holding on to that security blanket. I, I, amen. I can't have a plan B. I, I, he has to be my all in all I, or not at all. I, a lot of folks, amen, try to sit him up on the mantle I, along with everything else in their life. I, I, but he said, I'm a jealous God. I, uh, amen. He wants to be the sinner. Uh, he's not my co-pilot. Uh, he is my pilot. Uh, uh, for it's in him that we live. I uh, uh, move and have our being. Uh, I said, thank God. Uh, uh, he spoke to my heart this morning. Uh, uh, he said to me, uh, uh, amen, there's some things that you need to let go of. Uh, and we don't need a plan B. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Ha. Amen. I said the man could preach a while. Ha. Ha. Right there just on the things that were ha. Ha. before. Amen. Ha. And you know, Paul, he even dealt with that some in his life. Ha. Ha. He said of sinners, I, I, I was chief. Ha. Ha. Amen. Ha. Ha. He had a history. He knew what it was. Ha. Ha. I believe that's why he could say, oh, wretched man that I am, ha. Ha. who shall deliver me from this body of death. Ha. Ha. But he didn't stay in the past. Ha. Ha. But he began to focus, amen, on the future. And I believe, friend, now more than ever, that we need that heavenly, amen, mandate, that heavenly vision. Our time is running out. But until it comes, we got to work while it's day. For night is soon coming. Amen. When no man can work. And so if we spend our time looking behind us, we're going to miss what's coming. But I want to be watching. And I want to be ready, don't you? Amen. The Bible said to watch and pray. And brother, so let's cut it off and let everything fall down behind us. Amen. There was a little church, amen, over in this one area. Amen. That it had a lot of problems and had a lot of issues. And amen. I had a dream one night. And amen. The layout of the church was a little different. Amen. And I felt like God showed me through the dream that they were focusing more on their past. I said, thank God for your past. That you had a good pastor, that you had a good leader. But when your future means more than your past. I believe you see the hand of God move. You can't live in the past. I mean, thank God for what he did yesterday, last week, last month. But that was then. Today's a new day and the Bible said, Hebrews 11 and 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. But what else do we need? To let go of that sometimes. That we hang on to too much. And I found that word. Bolt, amen, is a good example. Amen. I see the old. And I see the opinions of others. That we allow to influence us. Amen. We're not here to please man. The Bible said that if we're trying to please man, then we're not really the servants of God. Amen. We need to come with a desire on our heart. And that's for him to be satisfied. Amen. Like she said, I want him to be satisfied ha, ha, with me in my life. Ha, ha, but sometimes ha, ha, we allow that plan B to get him by. Ha, ha, we worry about it being politically correct ha, or being accepted by man. Ha, ha, but I'm glad the Bible said the word of God ha, ha, is forever settled in heaven. Ha, and we've got to come to a place ha, ha, that we cut off the opinions of others. Ha, ha, I mean, I'm glad you're here, but I'm not here to serve you. Ha, ha, amen. I mean, thank God for the congregation. Ha, ha, but amen. God is what matters to me this morning. Ha, ha, when I woke up, ha, ha, amen. I said, God, ha, ha, speak to us today. Ha, ha, by your word. Ha, and I believe that he has today. Amen. 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 The opinions. Amen. Can really be an influence in our life if we're not careful. Ha. Amen. Ha. I know, you know, there used to be a time that, ha. Ha. amen, that we prayed and we sought God for his ha. Ha. wisdom and guidance. Ha. Ha. For there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. Ha. Ha. Amen. But the end thereof were the ways of death. Ha. Ha. But now we've got to run around and ask everybody, what do you think? Ha. Ha. What do you think? Ha. Ha. Amen. If we're really all on the same page, ha. It ought to mean more to us that it's not my opinion that matters. Ha. It's what does God say about the situation? Yeah. Ha. 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 Don't you remember that in the Old Testament? Ha. 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 Ahab went up to Jehoshaphat ha. and he said, Will you go with me down to Ramoth Gilead? Ha. And Ahab had a lot of yes men, ha. Ha. a lot of false prophets there. Ha. Ha. I prophesied, Go up, go up. Ha. And Jehoshaphat said, ha. Ha. Is there not here a prophet of the Lord? Ha, ha, that we may inquire of him. Ha, ha, 
finally hear what God's going to say about the matter. And brother, if you don't do that, if you don't come to that place that you cut off everything else, it'll hinder you, it'll slow you down. But when you get to that place that you seek the will of God, I believe that it'll put liberty in your life. Amen. The Bible said where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Amen. Thank God for that liberty today. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. But today, opinions. Amen. Amen. Are big influence in a lot of circles. I believe I told you, amen, maybe the last time I was up here, there was a family called me, and I thought, this is sad, but amen, they were over around Gate City, and it got saved. Amen, wanted to get baptized, and the church had to vote on when they was going to do it, and put them off, and put them off, and put them off, and put them off. Amen. I would understand if you were unsure of their conversion. Amen. To make sure that they really got the right deal. But amen. When you let, amen, the uh, ideas in your plans, amen, get in the way of what God said, I, I think that's a problem. Amen. And so she called and she said, would you be willing? I said, I'll come tonight. I, I put a headlamp on. I, I, it doesn't matter to me. I said, if you really, you know, I talked to him. I said, if you accepted the law and, you know, went through, you know, down the line of what the Bible said. I, and, and, and they said, yeah. I, I said, well, that's all that's required. I, I said, let's not wait till it's a man. I, I, in our politically correct schedule, I, or when it's convenient, I, I, there are people falling away today I, I, because the opinion of man is getting in I, I, the way of what God's word said. I, I, just like the Bible said, because in the word of God, I, I, to be none of it by their tradition. I, I will let tradition, amen, trump the truth. I, of scripture. Amen. Woo! Amen. I know, hallelujah, that's not a shout message for some. That's what God put in my heart this morning. Yeah. Amen. And I believe there's some things that we need to get rid of. Ha. Amen. And I, I know there's, you know, one fella, ha. Uh, you know, every time I talk to him, it seems like all he wants to say is who you're affiliated with. I just smile at him and say, Jesus. That's all we need. Amen. Hallelujah. Ha. No, he's like, well, are you free will, assembly, God, church of God, ha. I Pentecostal, I start what, you know, and I thought, man, it's a sad time that we, amen, don't want a fellowship based on who you're affiliated with. Ha. Ha. I said, try the spirit, see whether or not it be of God. Ha. I mean, if I make you uncomfortable for the wrong reason, move on. Ha. Ha. Hey, amen, but you know what? Ha. Ha. That is creeping into a lot of our churches. Ha. Ha. And amen, we're letting up I, I, somebody said, well, they didn't like that. I, I, well, I love folks. I, I, but amen, we're not called to be liked by everybody. I, I, amen. He said, if that world is your friend, I, I, you become the enemy of God. I, I, we're not out here to try to please the world. The world loves its own. I, I, but he said, if they hated me, they're going to hate you. I, and I said, there are some things I, I believe we better cut off I, and let fall because we don't need a plan B. Amen. I see a lot of folks, amen, running around trying to set up that plan B and say, well, if it don't work out here, I'll go over here. Yeah. Amen. Where's the faith and trust in that? Amen. amen. I was talking to somebody the other day, bless their heart. Amen. Was trying to get something done. They said, I'm waiting to work out all the kings. I said, as long as you and I are involved in anything, there are going to be imperfections. Amen. 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 I said, best to just let go and let go. Amen. I kept one little sister used to say, take a foot off the brake and let it roll, preacher. I, I, hey, man, I said, we need to cut that out. I, I, we need to get rid of it. I, I, what else do we need to get rid of? I, I, amen. Sometimes I, I think we allow anger to influence us. I, I, amen. You know, have you ever had a situation happen in your life? I, I, it didn't seem fair. I, I mean, you think, man, I'm paying my tithes. I, I'm going to church. I, I'm loving God. And here this has come. I, I, amen, and it ain't fair. I, I, amen, but yet the Bible said it rains on the just I, and the unjust alike. And amen. if we're not careful, I, I will allow an angry spirit to rise up in us I, and say, that ain't supposed to happen to me. Yeah. Why not? That's right. Paul was stoned, yeah. shipwrecked, beat with rocks. Yeah. Amen. 
went through a whole list of things that he went through with him. Yeah. Uh, amen. You know what he said? He said, I counted all joy. And friend, I believe today that too many times we allow an old angry spirit that says, I'm not supposed to. I have to deal with anything. When the Bible said that in the world, you shall have tribulation. It ain't going to get no better in this world. But amen. Thank God. I'm glad we got somebody. Uh, that we can go to like me and Rick was talking before church uh, uh, the Bible said in Hebrews 4.16 uh, uh, let us therefore come boldly uh, uh, before the throne room of grace uh, uh, that we might obtain mercy uh, and find grace to help in our time of need uh, uh, but I'm glad that when my life goes sideways uh, uh, that I've got a place that I can go uh, and find grace to help in our time of need uh, uh, amen. don't let it make you angry I, I will let it motivate you to pray I, I, because the Bible said the effectual I, I fervent prayer of a righteous man I, I feel as much Amen. Amen. but you know what we try to justify our behavior don't we yeah. how many times have I heard people say but now preacher the Bible said be angry and sin not amen but he also said to live at peace amen as much as lies within you with all men that's right Amen. So it's better not to even get angry if you can help it. Amen. If you can live at peace, if you can rein in, if you can get it under control. But sometimes we like that plan B. Well, it didn't go the way I want. Amen. So I'm going to just blow up a little bit. I know you've got to take that thought captive. You've got to bring it under subjection. Paul even said, I keep under my body. And I bring it under subjection list when I preach to others that I myself would be a castaway. Amen. Amen. Yeah. As I said, I don't know why the Lord put this in my heart, but I was determined to do what the gay man I felt like that he gave me. Amen. 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 I, I, I learned a long time ago when he said the instant in season and out of season. <laughs> Amen. If you try to go with what you know, it won't turn out the same. No. Hey, Amen. Uh, you may go through the motion. You may even have a good meet, but it won't be as Amen. Effective is what it would have been if you'd have obeyed God. Yeah. Amen. And amen. And I hear a lot of folks, and I'm going to say this. Amen. And I believe in righteous indignation, don't get me wrong. But instead of getting angry so much, if we'd pray more. Yeah. Amen. amen about what's going on in the world. And we blame this one, and we blame this side, and that side. Amen. But where's the prayer make that? Right. Amen. We give that as our plan B. That is our option. Ha. Uh, but what kind of a witness is it? Ha. Uh, whenever we allow that to take over. Ha. Uh, amen. Paul said, hey, ha. I know it's a sounding bad. They thought they were going to, you know, uh, follow the rocks. Ha. Uh, amen. They sounded. They kept getting more shallow and more shallow. Ha. And they were ready to abandon ship. But friend, we've come too far. Ha. I'm going to turn back now. Ha. Ha. Brother, we got to keep going. Ha. Ha. We're almost home. I, I they wanted out of that storm. I, and sometimes to get out of that storm, you've got to endure some things. Yeah. You've got to learn to let go of some things. Yeah. Amen. I'm, I know I've mentioned this here before, but being a parent will teach you a lot of things. Yeah, it will. <laughs> Amen. I don't know. I'm pretty sure probably everybody in here's kids went through that phase when they got old enough to talk and ask questions and they kept coming up with that word, why? <laughs> why is it like that, Daddy? Well, you explain, but why? A hundred times, why? And sometimes, amen, instead of, amen, just accepting that we walk by faith and not by sight, yeah. we let the fact that we don't understand cause us to get aggravated yeah. and to get angry. And amen, I think of, Jonah, amen, up there on the mountain. He was so reluctant, didn't want to go down to Nineveh and preach. And then when he did preach, he goes up on the hillside to watch what happened. He thought, man, God's going to judge them all, and I'm going to sit here and watch. And God caused the gourd to grow up and give him shade. And then the next day, there's a worm smoked that gourd, and it withered up. And, and amen, the sun was beating down on him pretty harsh, and and God asked him, he said, doest thou well to be angry, Jonah? He said, yeah, I do well, even unto death. He'd gotten so bitter. Yeah. After 
just forgetting that God had brought him out of the belly of that great fish. Yeah. Yeah. And God had given him another chance. Yeah. And how many times has God given us another opportunity? Yeah. And we let the pressures of life build up on us so intently yeah. that we blow our top. And we lose. That's something I'm working on. Amen. He's still working on me. Thank God for that. Amen. Amen. Somebody said, you got it all under control. Not yet, but I'm working on it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. I don't want to be dishonest and say, yeah, I'm there. I'm not. Amen. But I'm trying. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so it's something that we've got to learn to get rid of. It's something that we've got to lay aside. Amen. The Bible said that anger rests in the bosom of fools. Yeah. Yeah. And the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Yeah. And so it, to me, it's a very dangerous thing. It'll divert your attention away from what God's wanting to do. And amen, how many times have I seen, ha, amen, God want to do something, and then we get distracted and get moved away from it and miss it. Yeah. Yeah, true. Hey, amen, let's not miss the move of God in these last days. Because he did say in the last days he'd pour out of his spirit on all flesh. Yeah. Amen, so I'm looking for God to do something. Yeah. Amen. It may not be in the multitude, and thank God there's no smoke machine and no light <laughs> uh, machine here. It's just simple preaching of the Word of God. Amen. But amen, just like I, I, these, the, these soldiers, I, I, their tendency was to run to that plan B. I, I, the world, amen, wants to run to that plan B, but we're not like the world anymore. We have been called I, I, to come out from among them and be separate I, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, saith the Lord. Amen. But we're in a time now, seem like ain't nothing wrong no more to a lot of folks. Hello. Amen. But we got to earnestly contend for the faith yeah. that was once delivered unto the saints. Yeah. Amen. And it ought to motivate us to say, I want to get closer to God. I know in this day, yeah. amen, I want to get closer to God. I want to be more uh, what he wants me to be. Yeah, amen. I mean, that's one of the songs that talks in Sunday school. He's still working on me. Yeah. Thank God he didn't give up. Amen. But the last thing that, amen, I want us to look at, amen, is the T in bold, and that's tough. When things get tough, sometimes we lose focus. Now, to me, the greatest example of that is John the Baptist. I, I, now, you think about John the Baptist, a man I, I, that is baptized in there in the Jordan. I, I looks around one day, sees Jesus, I, and he knows who he is. I, I, amen. And he says, you're coming to me to be baptized. I need to be baptized of thee. I, and Jesus said, suffer to fulfill all righteousness. I, and when he baptizes him, I, he sees the heaven open up and the Holy Ghost. I, I descended in the form of a dove, I, and he hears the voice. I, amen. Of one said, This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Now, you'd have thought if anybody would have known and had a firm grasp on who Jesus was, it would have been John the Baptist. Yeah. But in Matthew chapter 11, when John was shut up in prison, yeah. amen, when he got into that tough spot, he sent two of his disciples to say, Are you the one that was to come? Or do we look for another? Yeah. And sometimes we allow that doubt to get in our way when things look their toughest. And here in the context of Acts 27, amen, in essence, you could say it was the toughest right before they got their breakthrough, right before they made it to shore. And I believe, amen, as the Lord is getting ready to come, that enemy, he's going to give that one final push and only has for a short time. Yeah. But the Bible said, having done all to stand... Stand therefore, having your loins skirt about with truth. When those tough times come, I, I, amen, cut them off. Let them fall into the sea of forgetfulness. I, I, amen, put it behind you. I, I say, God, I may not understand, but I trust you. Amen. I know there have been many times in my life, I'll be honest with you, I've had to say, Lord, I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said before, amen, there's been times I thought, Lord, I'm doing the best I know how. I didn't think this was going to happen to me. Yeah. But you know what? Trouble comes to us all. And if we focus on the wrong part of it, and we abandon ship this close to home, it'll all be in vain. Amen. Amen. Paul even asked the Galatian church, he said, you did run well. Yeah. Amen. What's hindered you? Amen. Who's hindered you? What, what's happened here? 
Amen. You started out right. I want to say this tonight, and I'll close in just a minute. The Bible said, he that's begun a good work in you shall perform it. I'm glad God will help us if we'll let him help amen. us. But amen, if we're trying to run to a plan B every time you turn around, then friend, that ain't going to work. Amen, we've got to stay with the plan. And you know what? I told him I'm not looking for a new gospel. I'm not looking for a new way. I believe I just stay with what I got. Amen. amen. I tell you, God's been good to me, raised two kids. Yeah. Kept a roof over my head. Amen. Kept me on the road. Kept me through all kind of situations, life-threatening situations from time to time. And you know what? I tell you, I appreciate the Lord more than anything for saving me that night. Amen. 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 He didn't have to, but he did. And so tonight as I come to a close, amen, I want to remind us here at Free Christian Church, we don't need a plan B. That's right. Amen. Nowadays, they're looking for uh, gimmicks and ideas. And, and I understand when you've got a desire to reach people. Amen. Everybody <laughs> ought to have a desire. But amen, nothing will ever be the plan that God laid out in his word through the foolishness of preaching. Yeah. Just being faithful. Amen. Through the foolishness of preaching, he still will save them that believe. Amen. amen. I, I still believe that. May God bless you tonight. Amen. amen. That's what I had on my heart. That's what I feel like God dropped in my heart there at church this morning. I thought, what in the world am I going to do with that? Amen. Didn't have no idea where I was going to go. Amen. And got there. And it seemed like get a verse here, get a verse there. And, and I said, well, it'd be, uh, you know, one thing to go with this verse uh, or this uh, message over here that I know. Amen. The Lord said, nope, you go with this. Amen. We don't need a plan B. Amen. All right, Brother Mike. Amen. Amen.